much before the movie. We started developing it in 96. When we have a company. Uh, different, Unix. At that time it was Unix, things like that. We needed that for a company named Iskratel, which is the manufacturer of telecommunication equipment, uh, switch exchanges. And their customers are far away in Russia, uh, Siberia, etc. And uh, they spent a lot of ta ta uh, money going there and teaching people who are then handling this equipment over their location. So at that time when internet started, they said, why wouldn't we teach them over the internet? That was the first. So then we started with projects, we built on our own with companies, and it's uh, um, the best to use our own platform as we have it because we can adapt it to the needs of the customer. That is the, the main reason. If you use Moodle, then the Moodle has upgrades. If you do something different, then it's a question whether you will be able to upgrade it. There are many other, other, other uh, things. And also, the support was not uh, before. Now you have the you have some support, you can provide the support. But at the end of the day, if you use this system, really, systematically, in any environment, you need even Echo, you need to adapt it. Uh, 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 in a way, you know, the, the always the teachers, the learning practitioners, the students have their demands, their requests. So we always need to adapt the system and that's because we can handle our own system the best possible way. And also, of course, from the teacher's point of view, we know that there are numerous features that teachers do not use and that there always are some features that teachers might like to use, you know, so that is why we always we also now decided to upgrade Echo onto the new platform instead of using Moodle or something else. And also, the social learning is another reason we would like to make uh, the environment for certification, so to provide certificates to the learners, things like that. So there are quite a few reasons uh, for us to do this. Some yes, some not. That really depends. We do not, uh, most Ah, low percentage, very low, very low, it's 10 percent, maybe something like that. But uh, in fact, this was not uh, introduced into the faculty from above, you know, the, not, the Senate didn't agree on now we are going to use e-learn echo, no, this was done from below. So uh, we as a laboratory collaborate with some other teachers and gradually they start using and usually teachers who have the idea how they could do this are very, very eager and very satisfied. For example, we have a teacher who, uh, with whom we do virtual experiments. Uh, there is some equipment in laboratories, not from telecommunications, but modeling and simulations. They have some old equipment and then they write MATLAB um, programs, you know, the scripts, and they run the scripts and then something needs to happen on this machine to turn or do anything. So as they have only one machine, that's a problem to organize laboratory work. So now we do virtual experiments with Echo. They, uh, we have a camera. This machine is not in the laboratory, but it's outside on the hall. You can see it on the second floor. It has a camera. And um, students see what is going on in the machine and do perform the laboratory work. Basically. They write still the scripts, MATLAB, but they submit it to the Echo. Echo takes care in communication, things like that. So that's one example. There's a helicopter, they, we have a helicopter also. They uh, um, 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 drive the helicopter, pilot the helicopter from at home as well, things like that. And you don't use some, uh, some uh, software virtual uh, environment? Uh, well, uh, you use the real? <coughs> yes, 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 of course, of course. Okay. There is a possibility, we have another teacher here that uh, has the virtual, that she calls the virtual laboratory. Um, her virtual laboratory basically is a virtual environment, uh, servers, and students need to uh, manage these servers, to establish a partition or virtualization or something.